this morning. That's fantastic. Does anyone know who this is or remember who this is? Hey everyone, hopefully you remember me. This is Miss Kendra, and of course, I'm Mr. Patrick. We're gonna start out with, with some songs, so if you are sitting down this morning, please stand up. Don't we have a special guest today too? We do have a special guest today. You'll see him in song number two. All right, our first song we're gonna sing is Who's the King of the Jungle? If you guys have never sang this song before, you'll learn it pretty quick, all right? Here we go. time through you guys did great here we go who, who is the king of the jungle who, who, who is the king of the sea ba, 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 ba. who is the king of the universe and who's the king of me his name is j-e-s-u-s yes he is the king of me he is the king of the universe the jungle to meet our special guest today. No, it's not Mr. Josh. Who is it? It's High Stepping Harry. High Stepping Harry? <laughs> High Stepping Harry has done so well since BBS this past year. High Stepping Harry, have you been reading your Bible and praying every day? Yes, I have. And what have you done? I've only grown. Wow. All right, let's sing, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. But to grow, we have to start small, all right? So everyone, crouch down. Read your Bible, pray. Down in love, so be careful, little 
guys did such a great job singing. For the next couple minutes, I just want to talk about your words. Have you guys ever said any words? Of course you have. You probably said them this morning. Can we say bad words, mean words? Of course we can. Can we say good words? Oh yeah. Do good words feel really good? When someone tells us, you look handsome, does that make us smile and say, oh, thank you? What if someone said, you're ugly? Oh, that makes you feel bad inside. There's a saying, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You think that's true? Have you ever had your sister or your brother or your best friend hurt you with their words? Maybe they said, nah, I don't want to play with you. <gasps> wow, I can't believe she just said that to me. That hurts us inside. The Bible says, be ye kind one to another. Are bad words kind? No, they're not. Are good words kind? Yes, they are. The Bible says, be ye kind one to another, tender hearted. It also says, forgiving one another. When we have to forgive someone, is it when someone said something nice to us? No. It's when someone hurts us with their words. Have you guys ever imagined before that you were a, a tube of toothpaste? I know I've never imagined that before. Let's say, for illustration, you and I are this tube of toothpaste. And our words, they're going to be the toothpaste inside. Miss Kendra, would you come up here and help me illustrate this? Sure. All right. Do you want to hold that real quick? There yeah. we go. So we are the tube of toothpaste. And when you say words, I want you to squeeze out the toothpaste onto the plate. What are some, what are some mean words that we could say? Hmm. How about, I don't want to play with you. Oh. Or how about, you're weird. <gasps> what about, I rather go play with my other friends. <gasps> Look at all those words. Do you have any other mean words that you think that, you, that people say, Mr. Patrick? Have you ever called your brother and sister a, a sticker head? <gasps> or maybe even a meanie head? Those are some mean words, Mr. Patrick. What about, no, you can't play with my toys? Ooh, that's another good one. We've used almost all of our toothpaste. All right, so now that the words are out, Miss Kendra, can you put the toothpaste back in? Hmm. It's actually really messy, Mr. Patrick. It's, it's not going in very well. Uh-oh. No matter how hard I try, it's not going back in the tube. That's the same thing with our words. Once our words are out and they're spoken, we can't take them back. Once we say it, oh no, it's out there forever. Thank you, Miss Kendra. Sure. I'm going to give you guys some homework this week, all right? Watch your words. Would you use kind words this week to your brother and your sister? Once we say those words, we can never take them back. We can say, I'm sorry. Once a word is spoken, would you forgive me? And sure, your brother or your sister, your mom or your dad, they'll 
they'll most likely say, I forgive you, thank you for apologizing. But words hurt, and they stick with us for a long, long time. So this week, I'm going to give you some homework. Watch your words. Before we learn our new memory verse for this week that goes right along with this lesson, let's hear again from you guys. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before them that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Bye. Let the light shine before men, and they will see a good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light before shine before men. They may see your good works and glorify your, your Father in heaven. Let your Light so shine and that they may see your good work and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5 16. Matthew 5 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. You guys did such a fantastic job saying your verse from last week. Our verse this week is Ephesians 4, 32. Would you like to say it with me, Miss Kendra? Yeah, let's do it. Ephesians 4, 32. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Have your parents film a clip of you reciting this week's memory verse challenge. They can send it to us through Facebook Messenger using this link. In order for us to include it in next week's live stream, make sure to send it to us by the latest Friday morning. If you didn't catch all this, don't worry. We will also include all of these instructions in the description underneath this video. Wow, would you look at the time? We have to get going. Our church service is about to start. We hope you enjoyed today, but if you want to stick around, there's going to be more music, singing, and a message from God's Word. Hey, would you like to come with us and join us for our service? Let's go. Hope you enjoyed today. We'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.